Okay, I uh, put down some uh, wiring. Okay, you can see it here. And I used uh, a different types of uh, wiring and cable, and I'll show you one more that I did. Um, the wiring that I use is actually from this roll and is very, very, very... Uh, I'll say <laughs> probably like 36 gauge wire and it's I call it monofilament uh, monofilament uh, copper wire and it's it's a solid strand it's only one single individual strand okay and you'll see that on there pole on the pole also this stuff here is evergreen 0 0.025 rod which I sort of bend uh, you can bend this with your fingers, or you can bend it around something that, that'll hold its shape, okay? And that, I think I have right here, I can show you what that would look like. It's uh, number 219, okay? Uh, down the pole here for this tubing that you see along the uh, side of the pole because I'm routing wire down through I use a uh, tubing that's maybe uh, an eighth inch and I think I think I said before what number that was it's uh, number 230 I believe um, I glued these on and I also used an eyelet which is that little round thing here it's a little uh, little piece of metal that I have I have those I have several of those in a drawer the reason that I put that on there is that's about maybe halfway down the pole I'm going to put this on where I can loop it on and it sort of represents a cable that'll go from pole to pole and it's just you know a piece of maybe 24 gauge wire uh, and I put a loop on the end now you can use solid wire and it might even be better than the stranded stuff for doing the loop but this will loop inside that eyelet and I can remove that if we need to do any uh, like remove the poles or anything okay this here is just paper this paper strip that I cut out of a piece of paper and I use that on the pole when I do these uh, I don't know if you can see them, these bands that go around the poles and such, okay? I pretty much have the wiring on here that I'm going to be using. And again, this wiring is not perfect. It's probably not the way you might see it on a, on a utility pole, but it represents, um, you know, with the insulators and the transformers and such like that. For painting will come next, I'm going to be using black spray paint first and I'll just spray paint it lightly with black once that dries I'm going to be using folk art boulder and that I'm going to paint over the wooden parts of the pole there there's a the pole itself the the cross arms and the brackets and all are made of wood and then after that I'll probably use some sky gray or yeah gray sky <laughs> and it's by Americana and I'll just dry brush with that okay for the metal parts of the because uh, there's the brackets that hold the transformers and and these uh, tubes that are going down the side of the pole I'm going to make those with metal first thing I'm going to use now remember they're black I'm going to paint them or highlight them with metallic silver which is again by folk art and once that dries I have two different rust colors I'm going to use one is folk art burn umber 
and the other is it's by Anita and it's called rust red okay and then I'm just going to be streaking or spotting with that for I have a little bit of rust so the next time you see this pole it'll probably be painted the transformers are probably paint a light gray that uh, gray sky color then after that's all done I'm going to use a raw umber I'll be using uh, probably be using like a raw umber wash over the pole and uh, that'll sort of bring out maybe the highlights and stuff sometimes I use India ink and alcohol uh, I may use that too I'm not sure but uh, I'll see what the uh, raw umber or wash would look like the insulators I'll probably just leave them blue or I may paint them white or green a lot of times they were green okay the uh, utility pole is all painted and I use that brown wash that I was going to say I used and and this is pretty much the finished product um, now for installing it on the layout like I said I want these to be removable so let's pretend this piece of blue styrofoam here is the layout um, what I do is of course I'll paint uh, a glue in a toothpick a square toothpick and you can buy those in the store there uh, you know the grocery store or anything like that would have tooth square toothpicks or or hobby shops and like I said this uh, pole has a tube on the bottom that's what it was made of so what I'm going to do is to very carefully once I glue that toothpick into the layout then all I do is slip this down over top and I carefully work it down that it's down on the layout okay and if you remember that little hook that I had on the one side you see it right in here that's where I can loop these pieces of wire from pole to pole and that serves as the cable uh, down here at this level okay and uh, usually they're not at the very top now at the top of the wire I'll, I'll loop uh, some of that monofilament wire and I'll put little loops and I'll loop them from the top of these trans uh, these um, insulators across to the next pole so that's how I can remove stuff if anybody needs to do any work or anything like that and the poles won't get bumped broken or anything else so hopefully this uh, video helps you out if you want to try to get into modeling utility poles but again it's very you need a lot of patience to do that um, and there's probably other ways to doing this and I'm sure uh, there's a number of people out there on YouTube that do wonderful jobs um, one I'd like to give credit to is uh, is uh, Boomer Diorama is is the uh, he does various uh, videos on a shelf layout that he's building and it, it's a River Road Railway and and uh, he has a lot of good points and ideas on doing these and uh, that's where I got some of these ideas and actually I just modified on some of them because there are several ways of doing these kind of things and uh, uh, it depends on what you're looking for and utility poles vary all over the place so some have two transformers some have three some have one depends on what you're dealing with bigger industries may have three or they may even have a couple poles like this that feed into their company so uh, enjoy modeling utility poles in HO scale if you like and uh, uh, have a good day thank you Please, uh, sub you can subscribe to my channel at any time also. Uh, it's free. Bye now.